<laughs> we are live. We are. Oh, holy smokes. Cool. Welcome, everybody. We are Father and Son's Trimming Tutorials. Have a good evening. And you this know what? Where we is, hope we're going to be. Yeah. It's <laughs> Friday night. We're just. Nine. <gasps> Days of rain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was getting wet there for quite a bit. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Yeah. Um, I actually found some more gnome candy seeds the other day. They look, they look <laughs> a little iffy, but they'll be. Yeah. Yeah. That's all good. Let's see. Very good. I'm going to water your babies. I'm going to water me. these babies while everybody hops on. And yeah. here we get. V, what's up, boy? How are you? Hey, V, how are you doing? I'm just watering these babies before we get started. Yeah. So, we got a couple things we want to talk about tonight, if it's okay. Um, one of them is, uh, let's see, uh, at this time and when you guys are flowering, you know, your buds are flowered when they're, you know, kind of like, you know, this age, and then... You need to have switched to your 55018. That'll bring your nitrogen content down a bit. But like I said before, I, I don't think, you know, eliminating the nitrogen is a realistic thing for the plant. So a small percentage, even 5%, the plant will use what it needs. So just don't take it away because you got to replace it with something or you're taking something away from the plant. So that's just something to do. And then, and, the 55018 um, Beastie Bloom is a real, real good one also. Um, they tend to make, if you use them for a long period of time, like two or three months, they tend to make, you know, long branches. So that's why you kind of time this for like the last five weeks of, or so of flower so that, you know, you're not going to get really long stems, but you're going to get nice full buds. So um, you count from now up until time to flush as to where you want to harvest maybe always try to give yourself I, I i have to give myself at least at least five days to flush some people do a lot quicker but i think five days is a good flush so yeah so you got to figure that into the you know right at the end of your 55018 the flush and then you're going to harvest just after that so Abby, hello, Ashley, welcome. Thanks for Good joining. Good evening. Thanks yeah. for looking. Yeah. You guys ready to roll some joints tonight? <laughs> yeah, we got to get this ready. I'm ready. Behind you. This, okay, I'm ready. This one right here, we have, this is our Hong Kong gooey. And over here, we have a gnome candy. And then from V. That's right. From our buddy V. These two right here, they go out to V Tech from... Marquee Fields, NSW, Australia. Uh, he was kind enough to donate us some seeds, some seeds here. Yeah. So right here we have our Girl Scout cookie. And on this side we have the Afghan perp. I can't and, wait to see how the Afghan Yeah, you. and the Girl Scout cookie is inch and a half or so tall. And the Afghan perp just, just sprouted not like the other night. It just sprouted. So, so it's... Just yeah, it might now, be a little slow. Just now getting there. Yeah. But they yeah, catch up later. So. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. And our coffee pot. We got the we got the four gnome candy plants in the end of the garden. That's right. We're doing with the coffee experiment. We've had a lot of people asking us about that and how like the flavor and stuff. Oh, the taste is really a mellow flavor. Um, but it will absorb whatever kind of coffee you like. So whatever you have, whatever you really like to drink or something like that, it will, you feed up that and that's what you'll get. So yeah, my brother, he, he dearly loves that, that uh, the coffee pot yeah. from last year. So that's why we're doing here a little bigger. What, uh, what plant did we do that with last year? Was last year was with the Jaeger plant. Was that last year? Yeah, that was. That was. I love. Well, that. that's the best year we've done it. So I really like the coffee. We we made straight pots of coffee and mixed one whole pot of coffee, 
you know, about 12 cups or something like that yeah. in a five gallon bucket with just water and watered them with that. It, it, we just added it to our watering cycle with all the other fertilizers and uh, sure makes the garden smell like coffee. <laughs> so, but uh, the, the catch about it is uh, when you're flushing your plant and stuff like that, you're going to quit with all your other fertilizers. But the coffee isn't really a fertilizer. So you can keep watering right up to the day of harvest, you know, watering every day or every other day with a little coffee. More or less just a water additive. Yeah, to your yeah. flush and stuff. And your, your plant will, you know, taste more like coffee then. So it'll be clear of everything else that we've got in the plants at this point. So Let's see. Candy Wallace, thanks for joining. Cheers. Hi, Candy. Cheers how are you? Um, <laughs> V, hopefully they grow. Let's see. The Afghan purple is a little difficult to grow. Well, we will see about that. <laughs> we definitely have the green thumbs here. Well, so we'll, we'll try like crazy to see what we can do with it. Yeah. So. I got all my all, all my colored lights shut off so it's easier to see in here. <laughs> <laughs> and Abby, I know you're a dabber, but are you joining in on this uh, joint rolling thing? <laughs> this <We're>, joint venture. <laughs> joint <laughs> Oh, <laughs> whoever is going to join in this, I want to know what you're rolling and let's see. Make sure you got a stopwatch next to you. We got our stopwatch ready and we haven't decided. Let's see how should, long. We, should we put a time limit on it or something? Yeah, just so many minutes. Or, like, we're all going to have to be, you know, uh, you know, our own on our own honor. So that's pretty cool. So. Heck yeah. All right. What are you smoking then? Because, <laughs> yeah, I'll probably be smoking one during it. I've got my. Agent Orange Table Flop. Oh, yeah. yeah. And which one? This was Jack Frost, right? Hmm? Was this yeah, Jack, Jack Frost this year. And this, we're gonna, I'm gonna grind this up and everything. This is one of the, one of our Jack Frost buds. Ooh. Yeah. This thing is looking very nice. I'll be able to get two or three joints out of that. <laughs> I don't know. How many do you think you can roll? <laughs> <laughs> Olden days, welcome. Good to see you, man. Hello, hello. Smoking tuna kush. <laughs> Sounds kind of fishy. <laughs> uh, Mars bars, welcome. Thanks for joining. Thanks for coming in. No kidding. Yeah. Sherbet sure, nuggets, cool. Sherbet sure, nuggets. That actually sounds good. It does. It does. You got your papers and I got my I got papers. papers. Yeah. So. All right. <laughs> Is anybody? Uh, do you consider where you're gonna dry your stuff at the end of harvesting or anything? Is anybody? Is anybody kind of putting it off or something like that? Come like I am this week. <laughs> 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 no, we got a good place. I just gotta. We're gonna. What we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, take a piece of old cattle fencing. You know those big squared cattle fencing and stuff we're just going to hang it up like this and, and put it on like pulleys on the corner so that we can raise it up or lower it a bit yeah but i think we're going to see about doing maybe two of them that we can keep about this far apart you know over the deck so we can have a double layer and we we probably will do a couple of videos of that this year considering we had a few questions last year yeah. about all that and <laughs> yeah there was a lot of well, questions try some of you guys just grow <laughs> Doesn't everybody? <laughs> yeah. Me is smoking South Off, South Aussie. <laughs> cool. Nice. I didn't even bring a pipe. Nothing with me tonight. Yeah. Roll <laughs> joint. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, we don't have. A... I'm gonna get this started here, just to get it to get it off. Hope everybody's having a great Friday night. I had kind of a quick day at work, so. <laughs> well, that wasn't too bad, then. It was kind of a nice little early day off, early day on Friday. Cool. Man, I slaved in the garden all day. Man, with this rain like it has been and being cooler, you, you can't spray for pesticides. So yesterday when it cleared off i mean it was still like one o'clock or something before i could spray but it was warm enough so i went ahead and did it anyway and uh, they did they did dry out pretty good before it got you know 
too, you know, too far into the night. So uh, being clear last night, it was considerably colder and foggy this morning. And, and you could sure tell the plants were noticing the temperature drop. So um, still, it turned out to be a real pretty day. I mean, nice and clear and everything. So I, as soon as it hit, you know, 50 degrees, 55 degrees, I was over, I sprayed them all. So, because, yeah, when even when it's raining like that, that don't stop the bugs. They, they friggin' Oh no, they love multiply that. when it's even when it's that. raining. So yeah. yeah. So we just kinda gotta play catch up at some times. And, uh, but still having having most of the garden covered. We we have gotten panels today or yesterday that we can put up tomorrow to complete the, the roof over the cable that we've got going and we can stretch the, the other plastic out farther up the bed. So uh, with harvest coming on, we're gonna Start with the ruderalis. Um, in fact, I'm probably going to cut a limb tonight yeah. so my brother can try, you know, trim it and see how it turns out by morning. So I'll be sleeping. <laughs> he's on night shift, so but that's okay. Give him something to do while he's walking around the bushes in the night. We'll see. So, Abu yeah. Kamara, <laughs> love you too. Thank you, man. Glad to have you here. Glad to, about to, get glad to have you a part of it. Part of it. <laughs> More the merrier. That's, That's right. right. That's right. Funny seed yet? No, no, yeah. <laughs> I thought we might get lucky in our Jack Frost. <laughs> you have one or two here and there. See, uh, uh, it's a natural function for a plant, but I mean, a whole limb or a whole bud, you know, morphing. That's different. So, but no, I mean, for for a regular plant, you know, nicely budded and everything to produce a, a seed here and there. That's a natural process. So. Yeah. I've always felt those seeds are a good, strong part of the strain, so worth keeping. That's right. Yeah. So, but if you got like half a plant that's morphing or something, then don't keep them. So. That was yours. Is it kind of? was just right. Kind of, yeah, it's just right. Remember, guys, you don't want your weed too dry. Mm -mm. It's going to be make it a little harder to roll. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Olden days, my second spray caused some leaves under... Underside to go brown along the edges. My mix was water, dish soap, and teaspoon of oil. What kind of oil is it like? Are you using neem oil or uh, what are you using? Yeah, because oil, didn't, oil didn't, itself is isn't really a good thing for the plants. They didn't like it. Yeah, and, and it might have been just where it, you saw the burn spots or brown spots is where the oil was concentrated. You know where it kind of gathered. So. Um, is it blurry for everyone or just my screen? Um, you know, to be honest, uh, it could be <laughs> old time laptop. <laughs> no, not really old time laptop. I, I mean, it could be just the camera on our laptop or possibly an internet issue right now. But um, we definitely need a. Uh, God, I'm out of focus. Oh, no. We definitely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I'm buffering. <laughs> we definitely need a, uh, a good camera. That can do some uh, nice streaming and stuff for us. And maybe Santa Claus will visit this year. Right. <laughs> 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 so, so we were thinking about and having thoughts of, you know, run, moving over to the, hopping over to Patreon and seeing seeing what that's all about. But we need to look into it just a little bit more. Yeah. Saucy J, what up? It's, I mean, on, my, on our end, it's clear. I hope everybody can see. We might be fuzzy later. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, who's all joining? Who's all joining for uh, rolling up some joints? For our, yeah, joint ventures. So we do so one minute. One minute's pretty quick. One minute's pretty quick. How many, how many joints do you think we can roll in? Two minutes. That'd be good enough. Two, two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes sounds good. But they gotta be smokable. I don't care if they look like a friggin' dog leg. As long as they're smokable. Better yet. What's the Guinness Book of World Records for rolling joints in under a certain minute? I was gonna look that up. Oh really? Would it be even out now or something? I don't know. <laughs> I don't maybe, know. We, maybe we can do a speed roll in one too. All right, V. Uh, <laughs> let's see. You got your stuff rolled. Everybody ready? Dean 420. Hey, cool. Hollow 420. 
what's up man glad you can make it we're, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna wait just if just a little bit more see if anybody else hops on for this little venture yeah uh much appreciate appreciate y'all info gave me i decided not to chop them down giving 11 more days nice patience sometimes we can pay off well so yeah and yeah. that's actually the second or third time that i've seen the word patience today and yeah uh posts from other people yeah. and it is patience is definitely the key yeah when you're when you're dealing with mother nature and you're outdoors you you kind of gotta wait for her to tell your plant what to do so yeah. it's just trying to figure out that you know you're learning the cycles of the plant you know for the coming year so what you know this year you'll know better next year that's right that's right i mean I know I've been dinking with it. I mean, even when I was younger, you know, and teenager and stuff, I, I dinked with, you know, growing and cloning. And of course, back then, yeah, I was deep shit trouble. So, <laughs> yeah. So. Vito Vasquez, welcome, yeah. buddy. I'm grinding yours now. Good. Very good. Oh, man. Yeah, Vito. Hey, whose idea was it for the smell of vision, you know? <laughs> get some, get some smell of vision in there. <laughs> ah, yeah. Melvin, you know, you know, scratch and sniff texting. I think that would be badass. <laughs> yeah, if anybody invents that scratch and sniff texting, I want my granddaughter to go to college. <laughs> <laughs> please, please. Oh yes, please. <laughs> uh, ruling for both of you gentlemen. So come on, we'll get her done. Hell yeah. Got a couple more here. You know, I got. Probably ten of these jars. I mean, of this, you know, the pints and the quart. Yeah, yeah, of table fluff and other things. I got sit around in a bag in my room. I got a couple of the bigger, yeah, bigger, probably, probably a jelly good, jars or honey good jars, quart jars of, yeah. uh, of our gnome, gnome candy. Yeah, yeah very good. Hey, table fluff. <laughs> you can roll pregnant jars all day. Good ones take a little longer. <laughs> I got my one quarter <laughs> paper to say the word. You got a timer? Everybody's got to have a timer. Yeah, just think if everybody could Skype and everybody could be in a big circle, we could all roll joints a hand to the guy on the left. That's right. You know, they need, <laughs> they need to make it to where when when we're live streaming and every everything, it has just a just a row of all the people live streaming and live streaming too. Unless you don't want to be seen. But there are a lot of people like that. <laughs> yeah. And we don't mind that either, so. But I tell you, it's a, it's a real kick trying to answer questions or getting information to the right, you know, get you to look in the right place for it anyway. Yeah. So, And remember I was saying uh, something about uh, YouTube taking away the messaging and everything. I've been messaging um, since after, since, you know, the 18th. And it's like, what, the 20th? Yeah. I think it's the 20th. Yeah, the um, 20th. We're still messaging. They still haven't taken it off. I don't know what's going on. It's kind of weird. <laughs> we just don't know what to expect, actually. Yeah. So. Peter P. Greetings from the greetings from Czech Republic. Awesome. Excellent. Hell yeah, Peter. No That's kidding. Getting across the getting across the other side of the world. Across here. the world. Yeah. Let's take a boat. <laughs> oh man, that smells fantastic. What's the vivid smell? Vivid it? Tech? Uh, vivid. Yeah, Reddit's really? still good all, all yeah. here. Cool. Yeah, uh, Reddit's, Reddit's. Oh man, Reddit's not really. Wow. I mean, they're they're kind of joined with YouTube, but it's Reddit is kind of its own little world, yeah. world community. We so like Reddit. I tell you, we can still communicate on Reddit. Like we said, guys, we're on Reddit, YouTube. We have our uh, Instagram and our Facebook. Be sure to find them and uh, find us and follow us and check all those out. Yeah, quite a few of the close-ups and stuff that we've done, the snapshots themselves here over the last week or so have been mainly to to get people to, to look at the bud, you know, I mean the hairs on the bud in general and try to gauge how many is brown and how many are white, you know. The harvest you're getting with less white hair, so yeah. those are a lot of gets really, really Close up our Hong Kong plant, man. It, it looks like a, a friggin' sea anemone, and it's 
it's just blood red it hair. Is, it is getting some crazy colors on it. I'm it a man is. of the garden. So yeah. We're going to try one indoors yeah. here and see how she grows. So we'll put we'll put that real good close up of those red hairs. I was amazed. Yeah. When I looking at you know through my camera with that close, I was amazed that the hairs had hair. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I was man. I didn't that was know that a really good picture. So mm -hmm. You can see where the one spot of hair, I mean a leaf, where you got to wait till all of those things. Are oh yeah, that was. Uh, they couldn't quite see, um, yeah. oh. like in, in person, if there was more sparkling going on than what we were seeing in the videos. But wow. yeah, no, the raindrops really spark dropping at night. Do that to your plants. Yeah, and the so, color is normal. Yeah, yeah, your stems and out the fingers of the leaves on the underside sometimes, uh, up the stalks even. Yeah. Um, uh, your plants are actually a pretty hardy, so um, it can actually stand one or two. You know, pretty good frosts, um, depending on how well protected it is. I mean, if it's straight out in the middle of a cow pasture or something like that, unprotected, yeah. one, maybe two. You know, the harder the freeze, the harder it's going to make it wilt. So, and that's what will happen after a freeze is really, really hard. Yeah. So, but the plants kind of act with cold weather, kind of like an apple tree. I mean, the apple tree grows apples all year, but it, the sugars to the apple don't exactly come up until after, our, you know, the end of October or when the first cold snaps really happen in October. So the plant is actually kind of doing that sort of thing. So no color is a good thing. So oh, yeah. it's the natural part. So you, unless you got psychedelic plants, you know, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I seen some ones from like uh, Hawaii I've that, seen that were just, just black. They were just one straight stalk yeah. and just buds coming off of that and then just had one straight cola i mean it's kind of like an auto flower but i don't know if it was or not um, i don't know either but that was it could I have mean, just been the way they trained it or something probably grew about four feet yeah but that thing was <laughs> yeah it's like hawaiian something i don't remember that was a long time ago <laughs> <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. let's see let's see yeah sticky buds sticky buds what up Very dude <laughs> Dang, even shutting down the restart and didn't fix it. Hmm. It's buffering like a, like a video 20 years ago playing with the blur. <laughs> oh, bummer. Well, damn. Hmm. If we move slower, will the uh, oh, <laughs> bummer. Uh, I wonder if he got a fingerprint on his camera lens. Uh, I, I do that on my phone all uh, the time, and he hollers at me for maybe, it. Maybe clean your lens. I don't know. I don't think that's it. Because uh, sometimes when we when we watch our videos, yeah, after, we're kind of we digitalized out or something. Sometimes we're digitized out, and sometimes we're not. It's yeah, really I figured weird. that so, out yet either. Because we don't exactly just get up and run around the room. Sound is good. So, yeah. Jim Siegel, hey, I bought a car from you. <laughs> <laughs> Four hundred twenty peoples. Excellent, excellent. Fire, Ashley Hampton. My phone keeps messing phone up. Keeps, <laughs> get back inside with the internet. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Hell yeah. All right, guys. Well, make sure make sure all your smoke is good to go. Make sure you don't have any stems or anything in there. Oh. Cool. Yeah. So is everybody about ready? We give everybody enough time. Let's see, Turtle Mac. Let's say hello. You <laughs> I call the waiter. Good evening. <laughs> We're about ready to roll here. Four twenty. <laughs> Welcome, David. Mad door plant has a milky trichomes. Should have done should should have done in two weeks. Cool. Milky trichomes. Yeah, that's a that's a good thing. So when, just, they, when they start turning colors that on the, coming up. Yeah. That's right. Keep an eye on your trichomes. Yep. And don't just flush them with just plain old water, you know, for a, a week. So count that into your two weeks. So mm. yeah, and you should do well by the end of it. Hell, I don't know why it's, I don't know why it's blurry. Huh. Sorry about that, guys. Maybe, uh, yeah, we need to work in the, we need to work on getting a better camera here. But right, for now, we work with what we got. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Ooh, birthday cake vape tonight. Hey, you can't roll a vape. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess it does come out of a round pen or something. Hey, bro, what's up? <laughs> 
Birthday cake will do just fine. Yeah. <laughs> Sergio, hello. Sergio, what yeah. up, dude? Good to see you. Enjoy the smoke. Will you recommend spraying your cannabis plants this late, late for caterpillars? Uh, yes, you can. Um, yeah. If you just find yourself a good or organic kind of spray, it'll tell you. Um, on our labels around here where we are, we have an OMRI stamp that's we can actually, with the Pyganic that we have, we can spray right up to harvest. But this late at night? Oh, this late you, at night? Um, you, you, I don't know. Uh, you, you really want your plant to be, not to get mildewy because it the, doesn't dry out in the evening. Yeah, it's not warm enough in the um, evening. So get them, get them uh, a bit before dark so your plant has a chance to, to dry before it gets late. Or, and then maybe again bright and early in the morning as soon as the temperature rises where you can again so but you know moths and you know caterpillars they're something you really kind of got to because they get inside yeah buds. they'll they'll you know, eat a little hole they'll get right down inside where's there. the big stem here yeah there you go so with all this stem with all these little buds and stuff the caterpillar gets right in here around here and he crawls in these little spaces that are left and and he crawls up and down here and they'll eat a ring around there so that's what I was saying. You got to pull your nodes out here and just be gentle because you know you don't need to pull them very hard, but you'll find one. And believe me, yeah, I'm. If you're looking at a, a seven foot plant that's nine foot in diameter, that's pretty daunting. I agree. Yeah. So, um, looking over your plant, you may see a leaf up here or something that's been eaten on. Kind of might remind you like a grasshopper or something. That's a good place to start looking. Um, if you get up there and you see that, and then over here on this little bud a little farther away, you see another place to be eaten. That's another good place to check. So those are ways that you can kind of narrow your viewing down a bit. So uh, if I do check an area where I've gotten a, uh, an eaten leaf or something, and I, I find something, I'll pull them, you know, I'll pinch the leaves off that are eaten so that they're out of there and I don't see them again anymore. I mean, I won't say they think that they're, another caterpillar there so yeah. yeah there's ways you can do it but it's kind of tough sometimes because believe me they can be they can be pretty ruthless so Let's see uh turtle mac 330 welcome buddy thanks for joining yeah hello. uh i don't like any anyone should i don't think anyone should spray during flowers uh so that's just me oh, anyone during makes flowers but that's just their own me. Decisions. Makes their own decisions. yeah well yeah. another thing i agree with turtle mac there um, spraying this late gets kind of serious, but just paying attention to what you you use, it will tell you whether you can or not. And like myself, we've just gone through like nine days of rain where the the, the aphids and stuff have just friggin' exploded. I mean, I I watered the other day, I crawled underneath my plant to look, and I get out and there's just there's a hundreds of little white aphids on my shirt here <laughs> yeah. from the underside. So. On that night, <laughs> on that that night walkthrough video, at the oh, end of the video, oh, you did. I, I did. I posted the picture. <laughs> I crawled underneath the ruderalis, and you know, that was for our friends down under. Had the little pool. That was for you, V. <laughs> uh, thank you, buddy. Um, yeah, but yeah. After that crawling out, one, yeah, yeah. We were sitting in the trailer, and it was just bugs. Although all I was around. amazed, yeah. So, well, like but, I said, yesterday was the first day I've been there. <laughs> Able to spray it almost 10 days or something, but I soaked them things down. I can get so uh, drastic measure calls for drastic measures. <laughs> that's right, and it's supposed to be nice all the way up till Sunday. So I'm gonna, gonna spray them as often as I can. can. So, uh, v, do we recommend uh, ice flushing for the last for the last weeks we, of flushing? A flushing, ice, ice flushing, flushing. Uh, that might help out, you know, if your rest of your plant isn't you know being frozen or cold at night generally if the weather is really cold you know before you're harvesting and stuff the ice thing will not only maybe freeze the plant further uh doing the ice in a place where it's not quite freezing or something that would be that might be a big help so that's something to just consider the two so but it sounds like a good theory uh, I've see. never done it, but it sounds good. Saucy J. I've seen I've seen two fan leaves eat, eaten up, so I was thinking spiders. Spiders don't eat leaves. Yeah. 
Um, it's either those, worms. Those, those spiders will take a leaf and roll it together and make a little ne nest, nest in there. On the inside. That's yeah, right. I remember, yeah, roll I remember. a leaf up. There are larvae and caterpillars that do the same thing. So if you see a leaf that's rolled that looks kind of like a little nest or something, just pick. It's just a water leaf. Just pick. Don't even squash it. Just pull it off and throw it away. No. Yep. You'll see. Very much. I had that issue last grow, and I don't want to deal with it again. Yeah. Nobody wants to deal with it. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Freaking almost overwhelming. Sometimes. Range are bad here too, and I'm so scared of mold. And and what the rain the bugs that came out. Yeah. Yeah. And they do. They try to find any place that they can hide in that kind of weather. So yep. let's see. Do Big Daddy, welcome. Thanks for joining. Very uh, good. Do we wash our buds? No. Wash them? No, we, we don't generally don't. Maybe, you know, we'll clean them off real good if they accidentally fall in the dirt and everything. We, we yeah, yeah we might. Away. But we, if we do anything like that, just, just plain old water. For the most part, they just got washed for seven yeah. to nine days. Yeah. <laughs> they got hammered pretty pretty good. All starting with that electrical storm here. Man, that was that was so cool. That was Turtle cool. Mac. Yeah. Uh, the rains are bad here. Where's that? Where uh, <laughs> where where are you about? So yeah. one thing about a good rain, uh, the the four plants that are up in our garden that are gonna be the ones we start with, they are the ones that are out in the rain. So I figure you know, a better part of eight days rain is probably a pretty good flush. So I, I haven't been watering and yeah. fertilizing them, but I've just been letting it rain on them. So not too, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So a good beanie for on on Hugh will roll it faster. I have money on you both. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be $2,000 richer. <laughs> oh, well, let's see what we can do. Who knows? <laughs> Uh, let's see. I think we we're gonna we'll, we'll do we'll do. Should we do two minutes? Do I get how many? How many can we roll in two minutes? With that? Let's see. One, and after that, we can do a speed four, roll. Five, you know, six, if we want, seven, we can just seven. do a, you know, a speed roll after we do yeah. that. Maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. If others want to. Yeah. yeah. Um, let's see, Doctor Gonzo. What up? Thanks for joining. Hey, Doc. How you doing? Uh, can you go over your nutrient regimen? What type and how much? Uh, 550 keen at this point, you know, the last month of flowering. Yeah, flowering and, uh, but that's an everyday thing. Um, we do use the one that we, you know, add, you know, within about every eight or nine days as well. Uh, when we get down to the end of our, what we're going to guesstimation as far as harvest, we'll quit with all the, the, uh, back one and everything and even with the the 55018 and just use water didn't we uh flush it out so. didn't in the bottom of our bed didn't we put some steer manure as like a nice kicker yeah yeah for, that's down later down on the bottom yeah. so yeah when we did our garden our garden bed we put like we put like three or four inches of just, just good compost as steer manure yeah, on the bed with our bedding on top of it so i mean at this time of year when the roots are really getting down yeah. there, the plants are really liking it so a nice little kicker for, right. for later but on. The, the we do use mycos um we use a, the super thrive but we don't we use it sparingly because that also if you overdo it that will also make long stems yeah. you, ju you just want a, a good one a day vitamin type for your plant so you're going to have all the bases covered let's see and let's see the mycos what else got the my and stuff like yeah. that your emulsions your your guanas your bone meal and then watering with the mycos after that you know to soak it all in with the mycos that really helps the plant absorb yeah. you know a, a diet so let's see saucy j uh just i did pull one happen in an hour and i'm yes. surprised how fast it can happen yeah uh, <laughs> they're busy little boogers aren't they they could be on the underneath side of the leaf and you not even see them see and them, next thing right. you know boom they're wrapped up yeah <laughs> yeah well, they're they're quick when you're when you're not watching gotta check on them three four times a day yep uh, let's see olden days anybody got any advice on fresh air intake to a tent i've got three tents my biggest one Oh, I think I, re I remember you talking about this old days. And Did you daisy chain them together? Yeah, I think we were saying that you should. Uh, well, we, we suggested maybe a, a longer intake with an in, in-line heater yeah, yeah. before you go in or not. But uh, 
see. Uh, I think it would be better maybe if you had their, all of them had their own ventilation see my intake and stuff. The biggest one, I've got carbon filters on intake and outtake. Uh, I will need four more inline fans with carbon filters. It gets very costly. Wow, yes, no kidding. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I would, I'd try to take them up, you know. Because technically, you would need a fan in 